Hi everyone and welcome to another card making video. The best lawn fun release of the year is here, the winter and fall release. This means Halloween stuff. How cute are these bats? I can't stop using them. For this card I decided to make a cool alcohol ink background. I have a little trick up my sleeve to easily combine it with foiling. So without further ado, let's get started. Spreek je Nederlands, er is ondertiteling beschikbaar. As always I start with coloring my images. I use my Copic markers for that and I put the color number on the left of my paper so you know which color number I use. All of the images are from the new Fantastic Friends set and its add-on set. All the images are stamped with Lanvan Jet Black Ink using my Misty. This way I can stamp multiple times till I have a nice crisp impression. If you want more details on any supply I use during the video, be sure to check out the blog post I linked in the description to learn more about that. If you want to learn more Copic coloring combinations for the bats, you'll find a link to my Pinterest board in the description where I shared a bunch of different coloring options for the bats and other critters. If you want to skip washing me color, you can skip to the time that pop ups on the screen now. You can also find a clickable time link in the description. After the coloring I always like to go over the inner lines with a black fine liner. This brings back some detail that got a bit dull because of the coloring. It's totally optional, but for me it makes a difference. To finish the images off, I'm adding highlights with a white gel pen. As you might have noticed, I already die cut the images and placed them back in the paper with some tape on the back for easy coloring. Before I peel them off the tape, I first bring it over to my Misty so I can stamp the sentiment in the banner. The sentiment can be found in the Fantastic Friends set and fits the banner perfectly. Now it's time to make the background. I cut a piece of Yupo paper slightly larger than the stitched rectangle die I'm going to use later. I start out with adding some blending solution to the paper before I start adding drops of alcohol ink. Did you know you can make the blending solution yourself? It's much cheaper. Use a high percentage rubbing alcohol and add a few drops of glycerin. Shake it and you're done. This saves so much money. So after I added a few different colors, I went ahead and used my blower to spread the colors and let them flow into each other. By the way, if you like my videos, you can support my channel by subscribing. It's totally free to do so. If you already are a subscriber, thank you! I hold down the corner with my tweezers that I by the way only use for alcohol inks, because you can't get any stains off of them. Anyway, then I use my hand fan to dry the inks for a bit. Then I go back in here and there with some blending solution and colors till I'm happy with the results. You can definitely make a cool background with less ink, but I wanted a saturated background with different layers so I used a bit more ink this time. Thank you. 
After playing around some more, I use my hand fan again to dry the background. Right after that, I'm going to use some foil and press that down with the pretty side up on my background. There are areas of alcohol ink that pile up a bit and those will be sticking, making the foil stick to it. This way it's super easy to get foil onto your background and it also looks very natural this way, almost like marble. After I'm done, I like to press some printer paper on my background to catch any tackiness that's still left. Then I brush some baby powder all over the background, again to catch any tackiness left. After applying the powder, I use my cleaning cloth to clean off the excess powder. Now it's time to cut the panel to size with my stitched rectangle die. Be aware, it can be a little difficult to cut through right away, so you might have to turn your rectangle and run it to the die cutting machine again. Also be aware of the fact that the alcohol ink can leave some marks on your die. Those can be easily cleaned off with some rubbing alcohol, but be sure to do that before you ruin another project with it. Now it's time to assemble the card. I first adhere the background to a craft paper card base with my ATG gun. I used the giant Happy Halloween die from Lanfan to cut two pieces out of black cardstock and one piece out of white cardstock. I first glue the two black pieces together to create a thicker sentiment. Then I offset glue this to the white piece. On some white cardstock I applied some adhesive sheet. I'm going to cut the cobwebs from the cute cobweb set from Lanvan out of this twice. This makes it easy to adhere to the card but you can also use liquid glue if you prefer that. I place one in the right bottom corner and the other one in the left top corner. Now I place the big sentiment and the sentiment banner together with the spider to check if that would be the right spot to adhere it. When I know it is, I adhere the big sentiment with liquid glue first. Then I adhere the sentiment banner with thin foam tape and the spiders with liquid glue. All that is left after that is adhering the bats with some thin foam tape and my card is done. Creating alcohol ink backgrounds is super fun to play around with. You never know what you're going to end up with, but it always looks cool. Having the option to easily add foil to it if you want with my little trick is super fun. Especially when you're like me and don't use your foil enough. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and that you feel inspired to get crafty as well. If so, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel and ringing the bell to receive a notification when a new video is up. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!